Guten Tag, my friends. Today I'm gonna share a classic recipe with you. It's a dessert, so if you like sweet stuff, then welcome on board. If you don't, then I feel sorry for you because I don't know who doesn't like sweet stuff. If you also have kids, then it's even better because today we're doing Kaiser Schmein. I can bet that everything that we're gonna use in this recipe is already in your fridge because we're only using simple ingredients. Here's what you'll need. You'll need some flour, two eggs, milk, sugar, sugar icing, some vanilla extract, and a touch of salt. The recipe starts off with simple steps. To our flour, we're gonna add some milk, and our sugar and mix this whole thing together as well as our vanilla extract uh, you want to mix this so that it all becomes homogeneous and there is no clumps of, of dough of the flour uh, meanwhile, let me tell you the meaning and the story of this uh, dessert. Kaiserschmarrn is a recipe that's cooked in um, Austria, Bavaria, and part other parts that are former of Austro-Hungarian Empire. The meaning of this recipe, Kaiserschmarrn, it consists of two words. Uh, one is Kaiser, which is like emperor. The other one is Schmarrn, which is... Um, it's a German word for uh, tearing something into bits. This recipe is tied pretty closely to uh, one emperor of obviously this Austro-Hungarian Empire. Um, his name is Franz Joseph I. And uh, there's a few stories of the origin of this dish. Uh, one is that his wife, Elizabeth, uh, she was a shitty cook. And so uh, what happened is she was trying to cook an omelet for her husband uh, But it tore apart She was kind of bad at that and what she did is she just played to her strength And so she just tore the whole thing apart presenting it as a new dish That's one story um, There is an alternative story, which is that he the Emperor Franz Joseph and his wife they were traveling to Alps and uh, they stopped at a farmer's house for lunch. What happened is uh, this farmer, he was so nervous while cooking the lunch for uh, the, the emperor and the empress. Uh, he was making pancakes and so because, because he was so nervous, he tore them apart accidentally. And so what he did when he tore his pancake is he uh, just drowned the entire thing in plum jam and presenting it as dish anyways once you get something like this it should be uh, quite homogeneous and well mixed together uh, what we're gonna do is to a separate bowl uh, we're gonna take two eggs and separate the yolks from the whites uh, we're gonna dump our yolks into the mixture that we just made and our whites are gonna go into a separate bowl which make sure that it's not greasy because if it is then our whites are just not going to become fluffy when we're going to use a mixer now we're just going to mix our yolks into this mixture to your whites add a pinch of salt and start mixing it you want to mix it until a thick foam starts forming And now we're gonna add our foam to the other mixture in three parts. When you're mixing the mixture, make sure that you mix it well, but not too much, because uh, if you apply too much force, the entire air bubbles are just gonna go away, and in the end, your dessert is not gonna be fluffy. To a hot pan, we're adding some butter, like 10 grams. Make sure that the pan is buttered well because you don't want your resulting mixture when it starts frying to stick. 
don't be cheap on butter because this is a dessert so you want it to be as tasty as you can make it and now that your butter is melted we add our mixture and you cook it for about three to five minutes until it's all kind of nice and browned on the underside and then we're gonna flip it now that your pancake is all nice and browned on the underside uh, what you want to do is you want to flip it to the other side you can use a white spatula if you have one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a simple lid and just flip it on one side and then put it on the other side Make sure to add some more butter to make it all nice and tasty. And while the, uh, the other side is now frying, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some uh, sugar icing on top. And once the other side is done cooking too, you wanna flip it back to the first side and let the first side caramelize a bit. Let it cook for another minute on very low heat and then using two spatulas we're gonna go and start breaking the whole thing apart. Tear it into bits as you like, as big as you like and now you just serve it up as you like. Uh, you can use any dipping sauce like a jam or something. Don't forget to sprinkle it some more with icing sugar. There's never too much sugar especially when you're making a dessert. Anyways, there you have it. 15, 20 minutes, honestly, like super fast. This can even be a nice little breakfast. Or if not, then it could be a very nice little dessert for your family, for your kids, or anyone for your date. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video. Put your likes, dislikes, whatever. Thanks, enjoy.